welcome to part two. We're going to have a look at showing our center of gravity on our drawings. So here we've got a motorcycle engine drawing. You'll see that there are four views placed, one, two, three, and four. And if we look at our browser, view one is our base view, and two and three are projected directly off of it, and then view four. So if we expand view one, we can see that view one contains this engine, and that views two and three are nested underneath it. And then if we expand view four, we can see the engine over there. Now, for view one, it's really easy. We can just right click on the model over here and go center of gravity. Wait a couple of seconds for an event to generate it. And here's our center mark. Now we can extend these arms in and out on our center mark. And there are little tools to do things like add or remove dashes. So clicking on the lines, we can add additional dashes in there if that's something we want to do. We can also remove them by clicking on the dashes themselves. And we can then resize this by going back into the line and going fit center mark. And that'll reset it back to its original small size. Right, so that's the easy one. Um, when we look at view three over here, view three is nested inside of view one because it was projected off. So you need to expand view three down and then go and find the model. And from there, we can go center of gravity. Again, it'll take a couple seconds to come through. And there we can see our center marks being placed on the model. All right, so really simple, and we can repeat that as we go through. The center of gravity on view four is trickier because it's gonna be inside the model. So you can see I've projected it over there, and see it, but because it's not an orthographic view, it's a, an isometric view, that center of gravity is actually not very useful. So the suggestion is not to place them on isometric views. Right, so with the view placed in an orthographic view, we're able to apply dimensions. So I can actually dimension from certain pieces of geometry to my center line, and I can actually understand where my center of gravity lives in relation to specific key datums on my model. So there you have it, center of gravity displayed on drawings. Hope you find that useful.